Tennessee Whiskey starts off with a classic intro. I'm going to show you that, and I'm going to show you the easy chords that make up the rest of the song. Here it comes. I love how you can play this whole intro riff with one finger. Essentially, you're playing the second fret at times, or the second fret sliding up to four, or four sliding down to two, or maybe four sliding down to two with a pull off. Doesn't really matter what finger you use, I feel most confident with my second finger. So here, let's walk through it on the count of three, two, three. Nice slide there. We're going to repeat that slide and back and pull off and then repeat the slide and then back to two. A lot of sliding. Sixth string. Back to the fifth string. Two slides. And then four down to two. And finally. Now let's do it slowly but with a beat. Two, three. teacher's dream, right? It sounds fantastic. Nice clean tone, little vibrato dialed in there on the amp. Awesome. All right, let's get to the chords. Before we get into the chords and the strum pattern, I want to remind you that I've got a great website. You can see it down there, song-bike.com. A ton of great videos that you can't find anywhere else, and you can become a member for as little as 10 bucks. So check it out sometime. Now let's get down to it. I'm going to show you how the song goes, but in the next video clip, I'm going to show you a slightly easier way to strum through the chords with a capo on, so grab your capo for that part. In the meantime, the song goes A, B minor, B minor, A. That's the form of the song. I'm going to get more specific in a second, but just so you know, the entire tune, A, B minor, B minor, A. That sums it up, but now let's get down to the specifics and the strum pattern. One finger A, you have to do a one finger A, okay? You actually want the first string to be dead sounding. So come in at just the right angle, put all your pressure on the fourth, third, and second strings, but allow the, the first string to just be muted like that. That's actually a good thing. Now, here comes the strum pattern for your picking hand. Down, up, down, two, up, down, three, up, down, four, up, down. That's it. Now, that's one measure. We'll call that one measure, okay? B minor, either with four separate fingers, or extend your index finger across all six strings and do it as a bar chord. Either way is okay. The bar chord is more authentic to the tune, but hey, B minor is B minor, so whatever way you're comfortable with. If you do decide to extend your finger across as a bar, overextend it. Go past the sixth string. Bring your left elbow in towards the guitar. Roll that finger over so you can't even see your fingernail. Okay, that might help you get a more successful bar chord there. For our purposes today, I'm going to play it as just a regular four finger B minor. Now, we're going to do two measures worth of strumming on the B minor like this. One, up down, two, up down, three, up down, four, do it again. One, up down, two, up down, three, up down, four, up down. Back to the one finger A with a twist. Watch this. One, up down, up down, three, up down, four, up down. So what happened on two there? It was this a double hammer on. If you've done it before, great, you're all set. If you haven't done this before, put a little time into it, because it's a very common embellishment. Okay, so what happens is a down strum on the one finger A, and then a hammer on, middle finger, second string, third fret, ring finger, fourth string, fourth fret. Now in slow motion, it goes like this. That measure, the final measure in the sequence, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. That's all. Okay, now what we just learned, the A, 
the two B minors back to the A with the embellishment. You could play that through the entire tune and you'd be fine. If you want to be a little more authentic, let's tackle the final A, the one we just did the embellishment on after the two B minors. Let's tackle that for the chorus because in the chorus it is slightly different than it is for the verse. For the chorus, the first A is fine, the two B minors are fine. Here's what happens with the, uh, with the one finger A in that final sequence. It sounds like this. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. It's not a hammer on, it's the same move, but it happens after you say two. Watch this. One, up, down, two, up, down, and then three, up, down, four, up, down. I'll do it without talking now. Now this is only in the chorus and uh, you know it's optional but it does make it more authentic to the real tune. Okay so again the form of a song A, B minor, B minor, A and if you're thinking that seems too good to be true you're right. You're right. A guitar teacher's dream. Uh, essentially a two chord tune with a, a nice little embellishment. By the way if we isolated that embellishment and just talk about this specific thing right here that is a D chord. It might be unusual for you, but that, that is temporarily, it's a D chord right there, you know? So there you go. All right, now, uh, now that we have the verse and the chorus done authentically, now let's take a minute, grab your capo. We're going to put the capo behind the second fret, and I'll show you one more way to do it. Here it comes. Now let's do it with a capo behind the second fret, and your chords are going to be G and A minor. Maybe a little bit easier for some of you. I recommend doing G with your middle ring and pinky, keeping your index finger free for when it's time to go to A minor. You don't have to do the G that way, but that's how I, I do it, and that's how I recommend it for this uh, version of the song. So because of the capo, the G is going to sound like A major, and the A minor is going to sound like B minor. So here we go with the G. One, two, three, four, A minor. Stay there. One, two, three, up, down, four, up, down. Now this final G that we're about to go to, this is the one that it's one way for the verse and slightly different for the chorus. Okay, for the verse you're going to go down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. So what I just did there is I did a hammer on with my index finger hammering on the second string one, first fret I mean, and the middle finger hammering on the uh, blah, 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 fourth string, second fret. Now when I say, you know, one first fret and second fret, that's relative to the capo, okay? So. So there you go, that's how the verse ends. Down, up, down, hammer on, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. And the chorus is going to be almost the same. Down, up, down, two, up, down, three, up, down, four, up, down. All right, there you go. Capo behind the second fret, just an alternative way of playing it. In fact, if you're playing this song with a friend, they can play it one way, you can play it this way. Nice uh, combination. All right, there you have it. Tennessee Whiskey from Chris Stapleton. Great riff in the beginning, nice easy chords. Great tune. All right, hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. Don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate it, and I will see you for another riff of the day tomorrow.